<laughs> hey everyone, welcome to Kikech Chat of Black Panther. The song is from the Black Panther album. Yeah. What was it called? Um, All, the, All stars. the Stars. Yes. Uh, Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar. Lamar did most of the music. Yeah. I think he did all of them, right? I, I think he did the whole album. I don't know. For the... We gotta look that up. Yeah. So, hey! Yeah. Welcome to our review of Black Panther, directed by Ryan Cougar. It stars um, Chad Bolson, uh, Lupita Nyong'o, Diana Guerrero, I think it's her name. Guerrero. Yeah. And uh, Letty White, I, right? I think I forgot. Uh, she plays Sorry. She plays yeah. the princess. I probably am saying her name wrong. I am so sorry. I'm going to be messing up these names. I'm really bad at names in general. So I'm really, really, really sorry. Bear with I'm me. I'm not. Let's go. And she's not. So she helps me out a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, it just came out this weekend. And we are here to review it for you. To see if it's as good as the credits say. I don't know what the hell I was just to say right there. <laughs> it sounded so oh, weird. Yeah. But yes. It's early morning. We went to yeah, see, we went to see it at like at 9, 9 10 Yeah, morning. it was mad early. That's Dude, how I was kind of like asleep. Was I was taking like kind of a nap in those like kind of chairs just to get like before the movie started because I was dead tired. Yeah, it's been a long couple of weeks at work. So bear with me. Anyway, yay, I'm excited. We're finally here. Black Panther. Um, yes. Uh, so. The film is basically after days after Civil War. You know what happens. You should have saw that movie, or you know, sorry about the spoiler. His dad passed away, so oh, got was murdered basically, and so basically he has he has to take his rightful place as king because he's the oldest and he's um, the son, I guess. And <laughs> so and he was Prince T'Challa, and he has to take up the mantle as King T'Challa and rule. Um, Wakanda and become Black Panther and he doesn't know if he could do it. There's also the threat of trying to get Louis, Lu, Ulysses Claw, thank you, um, who's that? played by Andy Serkis. Um, you know, he took vibranium from them so they're trying to get him. He's like a war criminal, a terrorist I guess and so he's taking their shit. So <laughs> so they want to get him and also a lot of the tribal members have personal vendettas against him as well as you can see in the film and so a lot of like like he's chachal is basically like how can i protect my people am i ready for this and so you know you have his guards as well protecting him them the what they're called the Diane Dora Man Manja? 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 I think. Oh Dora Manja. Dora Manja, I think. Dora they're Manja. Which, they're badass. I could see a whole film with just them, basically. Yeah. Like, can we get that? That with was them? exciting. That was exciting. That was exciting. They were so kick ass and amazing. Uh, all those. I have to say, um, yes, going to <laughs> the review right now. The women's in these, the women characters in the films really were like. I don't know, for me, they were more, uh, like, outstanding, I guess, out there in the sense of the male characters. You know, I don't know if you what felt you, that way. Well, Because we're talking about the characters, basically, now. Right. Well, if you mean outperform the male characters. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> well, what I mean by that is that they were a lot more entertaining. And they're, and they were more entertaining, definitely. Their characters, their lines. Their development. I yeah, thought you know, was... you have Lupita Nyong'o's character who plays Nakia, I think her name is, and she's also the ex of um, Chachala, but she's also a, a spy, uh, a, I guess a war spy. She goes out into the world for Wakanda to check what's going on and also and, help people. Like and her, help people. She, she has, just like, wants to help. An mission of wanting to help people. Yeah, like, and spread what they have, which right, makes Wakanda. sense because they are very, if you don't know that. You should know that it's very, um, a very technologically advanced um, country. Right. The outside world doesn't know that because they have to hide it. Right. So, so she wants to spread it out, the wealth of her people, to help more people out there. And, and that was the struggle of the movie, like between the characters and yeah, the that was actually the struggle. Yeah, between uh, T'Challa, like, yeah, her. Yeah, I think what really worthy. Really and Killmonger was bringing that up. Right. Um, Michael B. Jordan's character. character was bringing that up this as well. The idea so. of using Wakanda's wealth to, well, oh, from boys. Nakia's point of view, to help people. From Eric's point of view, the, who turned out to be the villain, Michael B. Jordan's character, to freely conquer the world, right? 
Yes, and well, but also help the the oppressed, the people. oppressed people. You know, so, give yeah. He he he. We were talking about the women, of course, but he had had a very interesting arc, and I was really um what he was saying in the in the story was very interesting, and I was very um I don't know. I was like captured i guess by his story and he was right. um michael b jordan was damn good in this film he was very good. he was very good i mean not only from his like his backstory too but yeah this idea of what he, his mission was as a king because you know that's what he wanted to take over yes because you find out something very interesting about yeah. his background that connects to chachala um yeah and it was so sad like there was a one line with him and there's a scene when you see the film of you want to, uh, with him and Chachala, and you were we were talking about that line, and it like kind of hits you. It's like wow, yeah, you know, and you know, so imagine it hits like other people who went through that and all that stuff, of oppression, really go through oppression. And so it like it that. goes over these social. Um, it's very for me. This film was had a like a good com social commentary behind it as far as with the oppression and then yes. the idea of helping people and using their technology yes. to do that. Because you could see and one side, basically, right. of T'Challa saying, ah, you know, maybe we shouldn't. And then, you know, the other side of people. Nakia as well saying, maybe we should. Because, you know, if you have this wealth in life, don't you want to help, help people? people. But also it's like, Oh, you help people, the other people will use it bad. I know it's very, you know, life is not black and white. Right. Everything's very gray. You just don't know. People I, are different I, and they're going to use things differently. I so. found myself sitting through the movie struggling too. Like, if yeah, I was just, a king, would I? Want yeah, to help like that's hard. Like, like, you just don't know. Because yeah, it's like, yeah, you because, want to help people, but at the same time, it's but, like, what's this going to do to your people yeah. and stuff? And what other people would? You don't know who's going to. Like, which hands it's going to get into, and then they could use it bad. It's very, like, because you just, people are different. Each person is yeah. different. That's what makes us unique at the so, same time. So I really you enjoyed know? the plot. It was, yes, the, jo the plot was actually really good, considering, I mean, for a Marvel film, I thought it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was actually pretty good. Yeah, it was actually pretty good. Like, that the economy, yeah, it was actually pretty good, because, yeah, with Marvel films, they could, yeah, basically. And... and um, sometimes if, the same type of story. So you know. for me, like um, the women stood out the most. Of course, yeah, Michael B. Them, yeah. Jordan's character definitely. You can see his development, and um, you almost sympathize with him at one point. But you see, like he's a villain. Yeah. Like I don't know. I think for me, he came out to be like an anti-hero in a way. Yeah, he was. Yeah, it's weird. It's almost the same thing I go through with like Kylo Ren's character. I know. In like, Star Wars, you like him, like, you're like liking him, you understand him, but it's like, well, he's the villain, but also it's like, is he it's so right. It's, it's definitely like, okay, like it's, it's just, very interesting. It's very interesting. You don't know what's in. I don't know, for me, uh, Michael Michael B. character is just the idea where he experienced so much oppression in his life, so he had to be a certain way to survive. And you find that now in society, too. Like, yeah. Society makes people who they are. I mean, I believe yes. in that. Totally. Basically, like, Chachala says it in the film. They, they made him a monster. Yeah. You know, oh, spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, but, you know, it's like, yeah. yeah. So, that, that, that did it for me for this film. I really enjoyed it's, it. What did you think about the... How they had the Wakanda society shown as far as traditional clothing. Their I society, love the costumes. Their culture. The costumes were really good. I know. I, I loved how the storyline of Black Panther, not even in just the movie, but this idea of four tribes existing within the this one country, Wakanda. And they yeah. all have their quirks, their 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 own culture, their own style, yeah. their clothing. So we were talking about how I was kind of confused by that. I thought they were all kings or like royalty, but I think I looked it up and they were tribes. They I got to I kind of got I mean, confused I knew by that. They were myself. tribes, but so they I were wasn't tribes. Sure all right, if, I was trying to figure that out. If within each tribe there was a princess or a prince, or you know, because yeah. then they would battle each other. Then that That's made more sense. I was wondering, sense, like, I was like, are they gonna battle each other? Because you know. But we're probably confusing you, but there are four tribes, and they all, each of the tribes, of course, have, like, leaders and stuff. But we're in, trying to figure court, out, like, yeah. 
if the leaders had kings, because Nakia was part of one tribe, and we was the river tribe, I think. The river tribe, and we were sh we weren't sure if she was a princess. Or yeah, so we, we didn't. You know, there we weren't sure about that because that they didn't really explain it. That it would have been nice yeah. to have, you know, In so that we could really yeah. understand the, the you know the culture so and like this and. Because it brought a lot more value to the, the to the film, but yeah. it was nice seeing them. But I know they had a lot of characters, and you know, so it made sense. Like you can't go into every little thing. Yeah. But yeah, I was kind of confused at one point a little bit with that. But yeah, so yeah, I had to look it up. So, I looked it up. So I love the tribes. duality between like their existing tribal culture and the technology world. You know, like, yeah, like combining, like combining them together. Them. So it was great. I thought that, was that part really was good. like, I mean, I know that's part of the Black Panther storyline from the comic books, but I thought they did a really good job in bringing it to the film. Yeah, the special effects were sometimes <laughs> <laughs> they were they were pretty good. Sometimes they were a little sloppy in certain areas where you're yeah. just like, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> but it wasn't like bad or anything. Right. But now it's like. You know, it's like that, like, not as bad as that, but, you know, like, in, in The Last Jedi, that one moment, like, you're like, that kind of looks prequish. But, um, <laughs> but, yeah. but it weren't, you know, bad, but it's just like, you could, like, I don't know, you, you could still tell. Of course, it's special effects, right, but right. still, it was kind of wobbly. Right. Know? And then the fight the scene, the especially the first... As well. So, oh, the fight scene! The fight I couldn't scene. see the first fight scene. I couldn't. I could not see that one. It was one. too like it was too dark. Too dark. They cut the scenes really weird in a certain way. So, but I mean, what you could see was like, oh, this is hot. But I wanted to see more. But I felt like, I don't know, the way they edited and the the lighting that they used, or maybe it was yeah. part of the editing. I like the cinematography, no, yeah. especially at the beginning when they were showing like they were coming into. Before they went into Wakanda, they were coming in and you saw the scenery. I don't know what country it was. I think it was Nigeria. I don't remember. Um, I don't really remember. But they were showing sceneries of Africa and the different, the wildlife and the people and the horsebacks. And that was beautiful. I think, I don't remember what it was. I'm forgetting. I know. Because um, yeah. we just came home so excited. We were like, we didn't look on anything. We were just like, let's do the review. We're too excited. It was so but yeah it was that was beautiful i i i love also the african music that they put in there the traditional african music i think it uh, no music. yeah definitely and then that was really good and then even with the when they were talking their language i mean is that like that's a made-up language i'm guessing so because you know wakanda's not a real place right but, so like, but you could almost because I've seen other films where they had actual people with, like from uh, different countries use their language. You can almost hear like some distinctive like African languages yeah. in the way they were speaking. Some of the like, actors like, couldn't the, do it well, like, like the accent. Like, you know, but I don't want yeah. to say it, but but I yeah. thought that 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 was actually nice to see, even though it wasn't delivered perfectly. Because of course, you know that's yeah. Not some there. of them were yeah. <laughs> but it but was yeah, just, some of them you could tell it was like kind of a struggle. But it wasn't like bad and awful. No, no. It wasn't, I mean one review said that Chad Bozeman, 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 yeah, Bozeman was like a non-actor and his accent wasn't that <gasps> oh good, God. and I was like. <gasps> In this movie, you know, you're into Black Panther, but the other characters are just like yeah, the other so characters exciting. pop more, more a little yeah. bit. But I mean, I mean, I, I like, thought he did good. I, I thought he was pretty decent. decent. I mean, his accent wasn't like he was pretty decent. His, like, like yeah, the other characters pop. So yeah, my favorite character was actually the sister. Suri? Suri was my favorite character oh my as well. God. And Okoya? She was so sorry. I liked... Oh, Okoya was good too. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Suri. Okoya. Let's talk about Suri. Suri. Yeah, she was so cool. Play, portraying a 16-year-old girl who's ahead of her time, right? Because she's like she totally so technically smart. advanced. Oh my God. I was just like, yeah. wow. She built most of that technology that her town like uses. I mean town. Her country uses. Yeah. It's like, wow. That's and amazing. That was amazing. But Okoya was like the general. Oh yeah, Okoya was so cool. But she was so badass. I was like, she yo, was so why is she not in more films though? And, and just as general, because she's actually a damn good actress. Because she's on Walking Dead. So she's on Walking like... Dead. You can catch her on Walking Dead. We stopped watching Walking Dead. Yeah, she watching plays Walking Dead a long time. Know. So yeah. But, yeah. So what are you saying? Oh man. Um, yeah. 
can I just say some of the scenes were cut too quickly or edited yeah. too quickly? I'm sorry. Like, some of the scenes were just like, and I was just like, uh, you couldn't like catch <laughs> Sort of thing. So yeah, there were I, I guess for time, but you know, you kind of felt it a little bit for me comment. personally. So yeah, I, I have know. a comment on that. Yeah, there were scenes where um, Siri and Nakia were about to like do a little pound scene. They did it real quick and then they cut. And there was other scenes like that. Yeah, when they were in the fight scene. Yeah, and yeah, so there like were so that. many scenes where you're just like, oh, I want more, just a little bit more. But they were just like cut. And I'm not sure if they did that for time because they wanted to make sure that it was developed well and, and the editing, but the, there was a, some scenes that were just really cut too quick. Yeah. I like, yeah, like I said, the women were really cool, cool in this film. Still, is the men that like kind of like dominate in society, you know, because the kings and all that stuff, you know, you get, you see that and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the women were the ones that stand out more but in I these think roles. That, is there anything characters. else you want to say? Um, no, yeah, the scenes were kind of, it was a little slow in some parts, to be honest. I know. I felt like, like it was slow because then it, <laughs> it was telling the story for the first time. So yeah, it was, it was an introduction it was film. It was an origin film, and origin I like film. origin films. But yeah, so it was going to be a little bit slow in that aspect. That definitely makes sense. So yeah, no, it was it was a really damn good film. It was really good. Yeah, you guys. Yeah. I mean, is it the best Ryan Coogler film? Mm. No, Creed was better. I liked you Creed. Know? I really yeah. enjoyed Creed. But for what this was, I mean, this brought It's a, a Marvel whole new... film. Well, it's a Marvel film, but so it brought Marvel a whole films, new they have a look. formula, but it was something different. So that's Yeah, what's but cool it about brought it. a whole new look to this yeah. this uh, culture of, you know, this African culture that, you know, I, I thought it did a good job of blending it into the film. No, it could. definitely it really did. did. Damn so, good job. So, for me, I was like, yeah, this is really good. I mean, consider that the majority of the cast is black, of African yeah. descent, you know, so I thought it was. It's like, one of the awesome. best Marvel films. Yeah. It definitely is. It's up there. I liked it more than Thor Ragnarok. I can't. I won't even compare it to Thor Ragnarok. I know you yeah. can't compare the films because Thor Ragnarok was pretty good too. I know you can't compare them. No, not but because of that. Because oh. I just think it's way better. <laughs> oh, okay. But yeah, I, because it was. I don't know. It just Thor Ragnarok was the last Marvel film I saw, so I was just comparing it. It naturally okay. happens. I'm sorry. But anyways, but yeah, probably, I like this more a little bit more. So than what are we Thor telling Ragnarok. them to go? Oh, go see, see it. This? Definitely, it's a really good film. Go see yeah. it. You're gonna have fun, and you know. We need more res representation of characters because yeah. there's a lot of people who haven't seen themselves on screen and have heroes that they could be like, yo, that person looks like me. I could do that same thing. Look how amazing Especially that person is. Especially superheroes. Like so I could is be like, just as amazing. This so, is yeah. like one of the most, like, like the first black superhero that's really, like, captured. Yeah. A lot of people out there, because there's so many people going out to see it now. There were so many screenings at the film, uh, the theater that it was yeah. just like, wow. Oh, Martin Freeman, I think that's his name. He actually was pretty good, too. Oh, um, yeah. What was his name? He was the CIA guy. Yeah, yeah. I don't know his name. He was yeah. actually pretty decent. He, he was, was pretty, pretty good. Decent. He was so, pretty decent. Uh, <laughs> because to be honest, I don't really like him as an actor. I know, I shouldn't say that, but I, I really uh, don't most of the time. So he actually wasn't he was bad in this of, film. Yeah, but, yeah, he was enjoyable. But go see it. Go see it, definitely. Have fun. Have fun. Um, yeah. yeah and, and enjoy the... Listen to the Black Panther album. <laughs> We're listening to it now. Maybe you want to get a taste of it. Oh, definitely. To? Yeah, Kendrick Lamar. But yeah, the African music was... I love them. I love that aspect of them. Let's see what... Let's give yeah. you another tune. It's pretty good. I like the first song. So the All Stars song. Yeah, so I didn't listen. I just like that song. So I've heard I this one and another one. And so I don't know the whole album, but yeah. but it, but I check like that song. So yeah, check out the movie. Thanks for watching. Thank you. I don't know what just happened right there. <laughs> I just wanted to start she singing. Probably, that's how good I don't the movie know. Is. She's making her sing. She don't really sing. <laughs> I just feel like, uh, like, ooh, energy. Like, it just came to me. <laughs> it was good. So, thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Peace. Peace.